What is up, guys? My name is Jackal, and believe it or not, we are here at the end of our Breath of Fire journey. After, I believe, 57 parts, I think this is what it is. 57? I believe it's either 57 or 58. I believe it's 57. I'm not going to look it up right now. But after all this time, after like a couple months of playing, we are finally here at the end of the game. And it is a very, very bittersweet feeling for me. Because, I mean, this whole area here, all of this, all of this is just nothing but a nostalgia trip for me. All of it. I mean, I have not seen the end of this game since before my great-grandfather passed away. You know, he passed away when I was... I had just turned eight years old. It was 1998, and he passed away. And, you know, before that, the N64 had just been released. Um, the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time had just released, like, I think two weeks before he passed away. Like, not even that long. Like, it was less than a month for sure. But, you know, because the N64 was what was hot, what was fresh... You know, my grandfather was big into playing that, um, I believe the game that he was actually really into, um, because the N64 did not have a lot of RPGs, and I know Quest 64 was one that he had taken a liking to. But, you know, because the... apologies but because you know the n64 had been out he hadn't been playing his snes all that much before he passed away so it's probably you know it's already been now you know just over 24 years since he passed but it may have been about 25 since i've seen the end of this game and you know it is a really bittersweet feeling honestly because, like, this game really does mean a lot to me. Like, seeing the look of, like, he uh, of Hero of Ryu walking, like, this sprite's animations, like, they, I can't even explain, like, how nostalgic just him walking like that is. Like, that, to me, is almost, like, more emotionally connected to me than, like, some of the women I've dated in my past, like, this sprite walking has been a part of my life when I think about it for as long as I can remember. Like, give me a second. Like, growing up, seeing a cartridge with this image on it, like, bro, this was always, like, the absolute coolest shit ever. This image, this cover here, boom. I thought this was the when i was a kid this was the the sickest shit ever i know a bit of this is gonna have to be cut off when i edit it but the main part of it will be here like bro look at that breath of fire 2 which i didn't really get to play as much of as a kid but breath of fire 2 the cover had like that same feeling and bro like i i can't tell you what this game has ended up meaning to me throughout the entirety of my life like so much now if i'm not mistaken though for this boss fight i believe if i answer correctly she'll heal me which i really 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 need what do you want did you come here to have a wish granted yes should I heal your wounds? Oh, yes. <coughs> <coughs> HP is covered completely, and so did that AP. Yeah, buddy. Okay, well, no. We did not come to have a risk wench granted. We came to uh, bottle you back up in this place. You didn't come for a wish, then why are you here? Why do you have your sword out? Are you ready to fight? Okay, um, yeah, but this isn't the final boss. 
I can't remember if I have to do anything. I can't remember if I have to prompt anything. Oh, it, her health does actually go down. Yeah, I believe she doesn't do anything. Because I think in order to fight, like, her true form, I have to bring out Agni. Yeah, she's not even fighting back. Dun, 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 dun. I haven't done anything. Don't hurt me. I'll do anything for you. Please be my friend. No. Why are you treating me like this? Oh, it's going to make me say, let's be friends. Hero, use the magic of Agni. She'll reveal her true self. I am not. I've done nothing. She'll fool you with her innocent looks. She's evil, but she'll hide it. Don't be fooled. Oh, she's going a wee Super Saiyan now. God damn it. Make me fucking revert out of this. Alright, defend, defend. Kind of funny how, like, Karn gets a whole, like, transformation, like, sound. Jesus. Bring out your guns. It's kind of like reaching his arm up. I can't tell what he's actually doing. <sighs> the dragon gets revealed to her. There we go. Da 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 da. You can't challenge me to a fight. You're only human. I'll destroy you all. Bah. I don't believe this. And here we are. The final boss. Some sort of alien fucking nightmare. But this is it, guys. This is what it is all led to. And, um... I'm not gonna lie. I do remember this boss being easier than Jade. But I could be wrong. Let's just attack him. And let's see what happens. Now, I am almost positive that um, this is a boss where, like, his initial life bar only has, like, piss all as, like, a fucking health bar. But then his second health bar is, like, a shitload. His second wind. Yeah. All right. I am not going to sit here and fight this guy like this. They have way too much health. They have more health than I could have sworn I remembered them having. Bow. Big crash. Goddess is intrigued. That's a good way to put it. I am really just looking for... I have a cure two down there. Is that the only cure two that I have? I have some cures... I should have enough cures. That uh, this should be enough. And this is an easy boss battle here. Um if you don't have Agni on the other hand, um I don't actually know what happens at the end of this game without Agni. Like, it really makes me wonder, like, how do you even beat this game? Because I... 
you fight Tyr's first form, you wouldn't have to leave this place, would you? That would be shitty. Super shitty. If you're watching this epic kaiju back and forth, make sure you guys are subscribed. I always forget to say to subscribe, but you gotta know by now that it's always time to subscribe. Especially with this game ending, that means we have some new new that's gonna be coming out. We gotta figure that out. Oh man, I can't wait to figure it out. See what we're gonna play next. Let's use a regular cure. He's faster. <coughs> Bro, if a cure goes all the way, to, what's even a cure to do? Oh my goodness. Okay, never mind. This guy's fucked. He's tear is just Miria, whatever her name is. Goddess fucked. I definitely see a little bit of a uh, aliens inspiration going on here, you know. Kind of hard to miss it. Epic song, though. This just feels epic because, like, man, this is my childhood right here. Like, seeing this fight as a kid was, like, the most epic thing in the world. <laughs> Now that I have cures, like, I don't even need to think now. Before, I'm trying to sit there and think, like, oh, man, how do I dole these out? Is a cure going to be enough? How much is it going to cure? Am I going to have to bring out the actual party out to, you know, come, come in and do the do? Seventy seems to be the most amount of damage done to him at once. Maybe a hundred. All right, low on health though. Hit him once more, and cure time. Man, you're gonna die. Man, you're gonna die. Man, you're gonna. Man, you're gonna die. Man, you're gonna die. Man, and we never even used the D-Heart that we were supposed to use against Zog. Yeah, so, er, er, no, I never even thought about that implication now. Because that was Jade the whole time in, when he, like, standing in the background and, like, watching us on our journey. That means Jade was the one who wanted us to use the Dragon Heart. Which means, not only did he want us to take out Zog, which was clearly obvious, you know, as the story progressed. But that also meant that he was planning on Hero offing himself in that fight. Narratively speaking. Not like the AI expected you to die. Like the character written expected that to take you out. And there it is. And because it's the last fight, you get 10 experience. And the bitch only got 12 gold honor. Let's listen to this victory fanfare a little bit longer today, shall we? This is the last time I'm going to be hearing this in probably quite a long time. I don't know when I'm going to play this game again. Headbanging going on like crazy. Oh, man. This is just a great feeling. Not that that last boss is hard, and it is kind of unrewarding, but, you know, for me, I wouldn't even consider this game all that great, but I just, I still, I love it anyway. I love it anyway. You can't win, humans. This is only temporary. I shall return. Return you shall. I believe you come back in 
Breath of Fire 3, if I am not mistaken. One more row. Peace out. Wee. Need to turn into a bird and get us to fuck out of here. Other birds? Oh shit. Did did the Windians come by? Or the Windly Windlandians right now? Because it's Windland. I'm proud of you, hero. You turned the tables on the goddess of destruction. You and your companions completed the mission of the legendary warriors. This is the beginning of a new legend. I have watched you succeed. So I have no regrets in leaving you. Wait. Goodbye, hero. You made me proud. You are a true warrior. And that is it. We lost our sister. Killed the bad guys. <clears throat> you have all done well. I'll remember that you saved the world. This is the beginning of a new legend. Wait. Repeat. It's finally over. It's about time. There is still much work for you. You must help those who lost much during the war. Can't we take a break? A real hero doesn't quit until the job is done. We're making history. We'll all be legends someday. Not you. Fucking Gobi. That's right. Oh, don't forget, you still owe me money. bro. I'm going to tie you to one of those fucking windmills. Again with the money. Nina, we should return to the castle. The king is waiting. There's still a lot of work left to be done. Tell the king that I'll return when I'm ready. It has been... Somewhere in the ballpark of 25 years since I've been here. This moment feels good. Mogu back with his people. We did get the, we did, I do feel like the mole people are the ones that we, we, we did the most. Actually, no, we did kind of do everyone a little bit solid. Because they were trying to, uh, nope, Blue just went back to sleep. It's like, peace out. Mogo went back with his people who were being enslaved. These people were being, like, ha like, in, like, captured. Maybe they were being enslaved as well, making weapons. The fish land, they were being attacked. Karn told him, like, eat a dick before he left. Karn was one of the few whose, like, people weren't being fucked with by the fucking dark dragons. No, oh, the robot. Nina stayed an extra minute to look at the volcano. That's kind of sweet. stayed with his people even though that is not how that that area looks that that river it did not veer off to the side like that i don't think yeah now that i think about it see there was never any like one thing that the dark dragons were doing like as an overall plot other than till the end of um of uh resurrecting obelisk i mean the goddess keys they were always looking for but that wasn't really, like, a big part of the story. You were more the part of that story as you collected them until the ending part came. But it really seemed like the biggest thing that the Dark Dragons did was just, like, kind of fuck with everybody. Gaze back and see your sister watching over you one last time.
And there we go, guys. Breath of Fire. Not a lot that happened this episode, but you know what? We got the biggest thing done. And, man. Like I said, does it not feel good to be here? I don't think I fought that enemy. I think there's like an island that you could have found him, but I don't, I don't think I ever found him. Ted Woosley, the translator extraordinaire himself. The man responsible for you, Spoonie Bard. The man himself, the myth, the legend. I forgot Ted Woosley did this. He had his hand in a few of the, a few like really infamous old school game translations. Yeah, he was part of uh, the Final Fantasy VI team. I think he also did. I think he also did Secret of Mana as well. But I think Secret of Mana was also like his very first uh, game, and I believe it was also like. Not only was it his first game, it was also like one that he had almost like no preparation for. So I think that's why that game's dialogue is ass. Yeah, I don't remember some of these backgrounds. I wish some of these backgrounds were actually used in some of these fights. Maybe they were, and they're locations that like I either don't remember or just didn't have a battle in. I remember that one. Uh, let's let these credits roll, though. Let's make sure that all people get their appropriate credit, even all these years later. Gotta make sure everybody who deserves their thanks gets their thanks. Outro music tends to be the ones that get um, copyright claimed and, you know, become unmonetizable. But it's not like I monetize these anyway, nor do I have the reach to do so. Oh, tomorrow I'm going to have to make a short of um, the different games that I want to play. Put them out there be like, all right, vote. What do we play next? Because I don't know what I want to play next. Like I said, I have wanted to play Final Fantasy 2 for the NES. Um, especially as I approach my two years of making videos, I would like to have my... I would like to play one of the other games in the series. Because I have wanted to play Final Fantasy 2 for the NES for a hot minute. Because of the three NES Final Fantasies, I believe... That one is the one... Now, I believe it was the Final Fantasy Origins for the PS1, because I had that game. Um, that had It was the PlayStation 1 remake of Final Fantasy 1 and 2. Um, I remember playing that one on the PS1. Well, it was on my PS2, but... You know, um, the game itself was a PS1 game, and I remember playing that all the time. And I think of the three NES games was probably the one that I had gotten the farthest. Because I don't think I ever, in the original Final Fantasy... Maybe, I, I think I may have faced the Lich, like, one time. So maybe I was, in fact, farther in that, relatively speaking, than I was two. But two I had gotten a at least select decent amount into. And I know, obviously, about its different leveling system where it's, you know... Um, Nothing works. Let's uh we're just gonna reset. Let the let the intro play out as we go. Um for our final time here. Um but the one hesitation I do have about playing Final Fantasy 2 is that everything I've been playing has been like text turn based RPGs. And it's like, you know, maybe Maybe on the next one I should play something more action oriented. Maybe I should play something a little different. Because you know, I got I don't I got I had this going on for a while. Then I had Pokemon. I don't really feel like going back to Mega Man quite yet. Because I was flying through those games. And I would like to give the Mega Man games a little bit more time before I come back to them. Um But yeah, no, I, I I think the vote is going to be up there between Final Fantasy 2 and even though I have no interest in even watching it, but um, because I know that show Willow has come out, um, a new Willow show for the old movie um, with the dude who's, you know, 
um, a little person who plays like uh, like a small little elven dwarven warrior, whatever the fuck he is. I don't even know. Um, but there's an old NES Willow game that I have heard for like an action RPG game. I have heard is actually a pretty solid game. So I'm interested in that. Possibly, um, if not around the same style, your secret of mana, um, maybe that, um, maybe illusion of Gaia also something to, you know, more beat em up styled, especially because both of those games I have played the prequels to. So I've done that. Yeah, but that's the end of Breath of Fire. Um, is it a good game? Um, I don't know. I really don't know if I could consider this, like, actually a good game. I know that I fucking love it. That's what I know. But whether I love it or not doesn't make it good or not. But I think this game, if you are looking for, like, a baby's first RPG, this one may not be the worst choice, but I would recommend a new player also um, being very liberal about using a guide. Because there's a lot of things in this game um, that are just really unintuitive um, and just like bullshitty. Um, that little back and forth quest at the end um, should have been a little easier if I was taking my time and exploring a little more. There's no reason that an island right next to where I started, right next to the first dragon shrine, that that area should have gone unnoticed to me. So that one is more on me. Um, and I ended up just literally finding that by fucking luck. That's amazing. I don't even know how I did that. You know, I know the game's familiar to me, but still. Um, but like the beginning, uh, needing the iron ore that's in one of the caves that you go through. Like putting a random item that you're going to need. Like a mandatory item in a cave. Now, maybe the uh, worksmith tells you. You know, hey, go back in this cave. I left this there. If he says that, then fuck me. Then I'm wrong. But I haven't... I, I always remember to pick it up on the way there. But the fact that there's an item that's mandatory to story progression that is just a random chest before anybody ever brings it up to you that you need something like that, that's whack. At least if they say, like, yeah, um, if you ever find some iron ore, bring it back to me. You know, that'll, le it, that'll at least keep you on the lookout for, like, a material and a treasure. And, like, at least something. But, you know, there's probably a lot of this that if I look back in the original instruction booklet, there's probably a lot of that stuff that was also probably covered in there. Because, you know, a lot of these old games, because of the way that they worked, a lot of times, like, they would just show you the beginning, like, half of games in the instruction booklet to give you a, a move forward. <clears throat> because back then, you know, you couldn't really do tutorials in games. Like, you didn't have enough memory space and time to dedicate to, like, a tutorial area of, of games. So, you know, games either had to be intuitive enough, of enough for you to pick up, or they had to give you something. So, um, I, I don't remember about this book. I remember my grandfather used to have it, and I remember having it as a kid. But I haven't looked through it, obviously, in fucking years not nearly as long as um the end of this game because i used to have that stuff and even after he passed away i would look through the the um the strategy guide that i used to have as a kid and the instruction booklet but i know at least with like illusion of gaia and i remember this specifically illusion of gaia has these collectibles that you can find throughout the game and there's 50 of them now these i'll actually probably look up where the locations are when i actually go to play it and I'm not going to feel bad about it because I know in Illusion of Gaia, in the back of the instruction booklet, it actually showed you the location of every, they're called red jewels. And it shows you the location of all of them. So, you know, a lot of these old games did stuff like that where they would show you different collectibles and different walkthrough aspects of a game, you know, in the back of the booklets. Because they didn't really have a lot to help with. Um, I know that Zelda in the original uh, booklet was a map of the entire world because you know the map in the original legend of zelda is just a little fuck fuck square in the top left corner that's blank and the only thing that you really get is a position on where you are in relation to the map which is still helpful i'm not going to say that it's not but but 
having a map that comes with the instruction book that's an actual layout is much more helpful. And it even shows you where at least three or four of the dungeons are in the booklet. So, like, it's, it's, that's how a lot of those old games were. Um, so with this game, I don't know how much of that was in the booklet. So there's a lot of this in the early part of the game that is kind of bullshit and was made easier by me just knowing where to go. Um, but a new player, even though this is a very simple to pick up and play RPG, as far as story progression goes, use a guide. If you're a new player to this game, use a guide. You know, maybe the future Breath of Fires aren't nearly as bullshit. Um, I know that the dialogue in the second one is supposed to be even worse than this one because Capcom didn't um, put it out to Square to translate it, which is how Ted Woosley worked on it, I believe. But they just did it in-house, and their localization team, I do not believe, did a good job from what, I was, from what, I, from what I've read and from what I recollect. Um, three and four, who knows? Five we don't speak of. But four, three and four, I... I don't know what goes on there. When I look up, maybe because I'm less familiar with all those other games, I might look up if there's any fucking bullshit like that. Because like I said, you know, I... I, um... There's a lot of this game that I know just from memory, so it kind of benefits me. But, you know, a new player picking it up, you know, how are you supposed to know about the fucking iron ore? You know, there ain't no way you're supposed to know about that. Uh, and we're back here in the world. Back here in the world. Of course, in this world, the game has not been beaten yet. But, you know, it doesn't have to be. But, yeah, no, this overall, it's... I find this to be a very enjoyable game. I don't know if I would call it good, like I said, but you know what? It hits enough notes for me that I appreciate it. May not be the most beginner-friendly to beat, but you know, at least combat-wise, if you fight everything, the game will be fucking easy. I tell you what. Because this game is, towards the end there, it got, like, super easy. Like, so, so easy. You know what? No, maybe, maybe, maybe the maybe that is what it looked like when Bo went to his village. Maybe I envisioned the way that it looked a little differently. All right, all right, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. But yeah, like as far as exploring and knowing where this woman was, seeing this right here, I with proper exploring, you should be able to find that real easy for that ending quest. The iron ore is like the big one that sticks out into my head. Of. Um, moments where it's like, oh wow, I really wish I would have known that. That's bullshit. You know, at very least the, um, at very least later on when the, um, when it's the bullshit that goes on with the flute and stuff, at very least, like the game was red texting me like, oh, you need a flute, a flute, a flute. And I kept being like, well, I got the thing that like, I can understand them. What's going on? And the game's telling me, like, the flute. Remember the last village had a flute maker. And it was like, oh, yeah. So, you know, that one, a little cryptic. But also that one, a little bit on me. Um, knowing where to take the frog oil to, or the fly to, to get the frog oil. Also kind of bullshit. Um... I don't remember that being very intuitive to you. There's, there's a lot of things that this game does kind of like. Now, maybe, maybe, maybe. Not even maybe. If I probably would have done a better job of exploring, honestly. Ooh, ow, my neck. The underwater area, that actually may have solved a few of those. At least the frog oil problem and... Um, that might have solved the frog oil problem at least. Um, and also because I remember seeing a beach right there that may have also solved the, um, sorry, that went blank on me. That may have also solved the, um, the knowing where that one, where the weapon collector woman was. 
that would have also helped me with that as well. So, you know, all in all, though, this was a great game. It was a fun experience. It was a great game to me. I enjoyed it. The music is phenomenal. It's, it gives me that real medieval, epic, childhood nostalgia feeling of wanting to walk around the yard with the fucking sword everywhere, slashing it, the tree and shit. Like, it brings back all the feelies. And, um, yeah, man, I, I, I had a lot of fun. And I guess we're going to see what comes next. So, till next time, y'all. Peace.